Hello, beautiful souls. And I feel the masculine here saying, I realize now that it was my fault. That's a very direct message. And I feel a lot of anxiety coming up here. A lot of feelings of regret. A sense of, is it too late for me to fix this? Is it too late for me to change this? Because with appreciation reversed, the masculine here is recognizing that they didn't appreciate the divine feminine in their life when they had more access to this divine feminine or to her energy. With the magician and the mirror in the reverse position, I'm hearing a masculine here say, you're always with me, even when we are physically apart. Interestingly, this is one of my two twin flame cards in the deck. I did pick up in the first reading that for many of you connecting with the messages, this very likely could be a twin flame situation, although of course, only you can know for you personally. But here I'm picking up that the masculine is actually recognizing the spiritual nature, the energetic nature of this connection in a very conscious way. Again, all of this is coming not from the higher self, not from the unconscious self. This is all really conscious realizations coming through here. The Divine Feminine here may have released this connection. She may have decided to, at least in 3D, move forward with her life. She may have opened herself to other romantic options or possibilities because of how heavy or triggering things became between these two counterparts physically. But the masculine now is embodying that opposite energy, that chasing energy, that the Divine Feminine used to be in whereas the Divine Feminine here seems to be relaxing back more into her receptive energy. And this is no coincidence. In fact, Divine Feminine, I'm hearing your guide say, when you are relaxing back into your receptive energy, it drives this masculine crazy with a feeling of pull towards you, with a feeling of passion towards you, a desire to communicate more, to take action towards you. Now, with that being said, if you would like assistance deeply reprogramming your own subconscious mind and your energy field to embody more of that beautiful divine feminine receptive energy that is actually not only powerful for calling in an awakened divine masculine counterpart that's very aligned for you, but is also very powerful for allowing you to effortlessly manifest using your flow state manifestation abilities as the embodied divine feminine. So, if you would like assistance with this energetic reprogramming, I've created a powerful subliminal for this called the Awakened Divine Feminine. But circling back to the message here, I really feel that you, Divine Feminine, have relaxed into your receptivity. You are, yes, at times feeling the pain of the disconnect. I do see this deep soul grief sometimes coming up within you because, as we said in the first reading,